The fat shaming is a good thing, right? I oh, think shit, that when run. people say to me, you put on a bit of timber, mate, it makes me go back and try and lose a bit of timber. Eat a bit less, drink a bit less, get on my peloton bike, off we go, right? I, I need to have people look at me going, hey, big boy, lose a bit. That's so ironic, right? because whenever we mention it on air, as a joke, you complain oh, no, about no. it. I do that to you, because yes. you're the great virtue signalling, we can't say anything negative about anybody's body image, <laughs> Everyone's perfect. Yes. I don't agree. I think a bit of fat shaming is a good thing, a healthy thing. What do you think, Angelina? I think you're wrong. Car, and you ain't been paying the car no. I don't care about going to work. Oh my God. That's Yo, listen. When you co-sign a car for somebody, you don't pay the car note. You affect the other person's credit. You are affecting my credit score. My credit score is down 27 points because of you. You ain't paid your car note in three months. I'm not paying it. Man, now I'm your man. What, now I'm your man. man. No, that. but you ain't been answering the phone. You don't even answer the phone. That's part of the that's part of the reason why this car getting repo. Like you listen, man. Like listen, man. You ain't even paying the car no. You don't answer the phone. You don't communicate. Man, get off the car. Get off the hood of the car. What are you doing? What are you doing? You crazy, man. You so toxic, man. Look at this, man. You toxic. So. I another dating chronicles and so I got ready like I, okay so I'm talking to this guy from tinder of course because I'm an idiot and um we're talking non-stop non-stop and we facetime we're we were on the phone for five hours that night <laughs> and we he decided to like he lives in a different city he lives in Hemet and I live in San Diego he I, I tell him like, oh, come down on Saturday so we can like hang out or whatever. And he does. I get ready and he knows I'm not a, a skinny girl. Like I've, I've never said I am. He goes to the restroom at like a, Chev a Chevrolet or no, what is it called? Chevron. And as he comes back into the car, he tells me, I don't think we're gonna have a good time. And I thought he was kidding. And I'm like, huh? He's like, I'm taking you back home. You're not my type. He's like, yeah, sorry, no need to waste anybody's time. City boy! City boy! Unpopular opinion. If Tinder is implementing a height setting for men, they should implement a weight setting for women. Tinder just announced a setting for men to show their height, under the reasoning that too many men lie about their height on the app, and as they put it, are height fishing women. I can just about guarantee they won't do a effing thing about weight for women. I have friends who have been fat fished. That's essentially the same damn thing. Why the hell should guys show their height if women won't show their weight? It's so effing dumb to me. A girl doesn't like a guy because of his height? You go girl, girl power, blah blah blah. A guy doesn't like a girl because she's fat? It's whole, so misogynistic, blah blah blah. It annoys the living out of me that women aren't held to the same societal standards regarding attraction that men are. Let me be clear, I have no issue with a woman if she is fat. I am just not attracted to it. Also, it is totally okay with me if a woman isn't attracted to me because I'm 5 feet 9 inches yes I'm aware that the height setting is optional, similar to Bumble, and it's not as bad as something like Hinge where you're required to put your height, whereas women aren't required to put their weight. While this is about Tinder's new settings, I think it really opens up the societal double standard regarding attraction to the opposing sex and it just pisses me the f*** off. Go ahead. So what I was saying is that you, I, I hear you mention a lot about black women, specifically. I'm Hispanic, okay? Now you talked about generations and generations and things like that, but you also have to look and take into consideration culture, of course, and my culture. So I'm first generation Hispanic. My parents are from- Your disagreement is modern women aren't mediocre. Exactly, because not all modern women are equal. We're not all the same. Okay, so would you consider yourself to be average above average mediocre below average no right I'm, now yes right now at where i'm at right now i would say average because okay. i'm not working so I, need, I need you to understand something you're 28 mm -hmm. 28 with two children and one mm -hmm. of us an infant right mm -hmm. you're five five almost 300 pounds mm -hmm. if that ain't below average i don't know what it is and you call it average where in the world is a woman five foot five and almost 300 pounds with two children and unmarried anything 
about average. You're talking about physicality, though. No, I'm like, yes, because yes, I am. That's right, because it matters to me. 